pulls a big sale to raise money. All that and more on The Connection. Hi, I'm Ken Hart. And I am Prabhjot Singh. Thank you for joining us. Flag football returned to IG field. After two years of pause due to the pandemic, elementary students from across the division crowded the stadium on Monday. Our reporter Andre Borjali brings us more. Over 300 students from 16 different LRSD schools made their way to IG Field for a fun day of flag football. This would be the fifth year. Obviously, we had a couple years off with COVID, so uh, it's been uh, three years since. You know, it's a day that everyone enjoys. Uh, obviously, I want to thank the, the Bomber organization for opening up IG Field. And, uh, it's, you know, I, I enjoy organizing it and, and running it, and I think uh, it's a day that everyone looks forward to. That when we said we were about to play it here, I was excited, so then we, we, I signed up and that's how I got here. I like that we can risk other schools to see uh, how good they are. I also like um, to be just on the field with the Bombers play. I like how there's more teams that are competitive and I like running. My dad used to play football and I like playing regular football, so I think I'd have lots of fun playing flag football. We're out uh, to learn and practice some skills and hopefully develop football players in the future for the community. I'm loving the organization, loving what I'm seeing, loving the fact that kids are active and engaged. It's awesome. Out of it all, students had the chance to make new friends and play ball on the Great Cup turf. At IG Field for The Connection, I'm Andre Bojley. On Tuesday evening, a call Varens invited the community to connect to get, and get together once again during the Varens Family Night. The event had the goal of creating bonds within the school community. Parents and students were welcomed back to the outdoor social event, which ran from 5 to 6.30. Music and activities were held, all the while families had the chance to meet their children's teachers. It was an opportunity for the community to reconnect after in-person events have been postponed due to the pandemic. Vice Principal Laura Marquez says a Culverin's strength is in the diverse community. Principal Amy Warner says having an occasion like this is important after a two-year hiatus due to COVID-19. I think grateful to be back in person. Um, I think our families are really eager to get to know each other, get to know the school and the staff. And so tonight's given us a really good opportunity to start building those bonds in our community and help develop an, uh, the, the sense of identity and a sense of belonging for everyone coming back after the pandemic. Students here at the Louis Real Arts and Technology Centre were busy this past Monday having fun and raising money to support the Terry Fox Foundation. However, the students were not running or walking to raise money. Instead, they were busy bumping and serving to raise some cash. Matthias Clark has more. The L'Oreal Arts and Technology Center is hosting a school-wide volleyball tournament in place of the traditional Terry Fox run. Students from all 13 vocational programs have the opportunity to get together and play in the event. I like volleyball better because it's more active and more fun with the play people and I, don't know, I just like it better. The applied business management students and their teachers, Jeremy Kuypers, planned, organized, and promoted the entire event. Peers who participated were asked to donate money or canned food items. Kuypers said that the goal wasn't to raise a set amount of money, but to get as much involvement from the students as possible to raise awareness for cancer research. And the other purpose is just to get the uh, programs interacting and you know uh, playing together and meeting each other because a lot of times throughout the year it's hard for programs, just the nature of the way they are, uh, to get to do things together. So this is an opportunity for the students to get to know other programs. The event was a huge success with over 100 students participating in the volleyball game. The business class that organized the entire thing raised $150 and are donating it to the Terry Fox Foundation. But the important part is that people made memories and had fun. I am Mathis Clark from The Connection. 
On Tuesday and Wednesday, Glenlock Collegian held a bake sale fundraiser at the school. A booth was set up outside the gymnasium with a variety of baked goods, not only to satisfy the community's appetite, but also to fulfill their special mission, raising money for both a local charity and the female volleyball team players' trip to Brandon. This charity event attracted students and staff. They stopped by during the breaks and at lunchtime to pick up treats and in the meantime actively contribute to the event's success. The two-day sale went smoothly this week with the help of the student volunteers who manned the booth. Students Lowen and Lauren said that fundraising campaign couldn't have been better. They saw running bake sales as a good way of bonding their team and put together and bake and because we know we've got a lot of good bakers on the team. That is it for today's broadcast of The Connections, your number one source for Louis Real School Division news. For our next installment of The Connections will be October 13th, so do not miss it. Also, do not forget to check out our socials on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube channel at LRSD TV so that you don't miss any of our upcoming live events. This has been For The Connection. Thank you for having a great day. <laughs>